said to, he responds to her. He says, if you only knew the gift of God. <laughs> See, that's what, where we mess up uh, because we forget about the gift of God, uh, the gift that he gave the church. Uh, if you only really knew that the gift of God uh, is nothing more than his grace. Uh, he said in his word that my grace is sufficient for you. Uh, if you only knew that the gift uh, that he has really given us as a body of Christ uh, is the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, then you would understand how the power, uh, it enables us to live a holy and a clean life. Uh, if you only knew what the gift is, uh, it is the word of God that comes to cleanse uh, and to pierce and to rightly divide. Uh, oh, you got to know uh, what it is. Uh, you got to know what the gift of God is. Uh, if you only knew that this word comes to satisfy uh, and it comes to cleanse us and it comes to refresh us, uh, the more you intake, uh, the better you get. Uh, if you only knew uh, what great plans God has uh, in store for Jerusalem, uh, if you only knew uh, what great plans uh, God has in store for you, uh, I want you to know that this Samaritan woman, uh, she asked the Christ, how is it uh, that you want me to give you water? I'm not worthy uh, to give you a drink of water. Uh, hallelujah. I'm beneath you. Uh, hallelujah. But let's dig a little bit deeper. Uh, how is it that I can live uh, the way that you say I can live? Uh, after I done had five husbands uh, and have gone my own way. Uh, how is it that you say to me, uh, come my dear sister uh, to the well and dig deeper? Uh, how is it uh, that you want me to come here uh, and you are saying to me uh, that I have purpose uh, and that there is something that you have for me? Uh, not after what everybody else has been saying. Uh, everybody else has been saying uh, you're this and you're that uh, but now I come to this well uh, and I find out uh, that you're willing to give me a gift uh, nobody has ever uh, given me a gift uh, unless I gave them some back uh, nobody uh, has ever said they love me uh, without me doing something uh, to show my love uh, but she comes to the well uh, and she's experienced a peace <laughs> I heard a peace uh, that surpasses all understanding. Uh, and as she is at the well, uh, Jesus begins to minister to her uh, and say, If you only knew uh, the gift that I have for you, uh, it's a free gift. Uh, grace and salvation is a free gift. And so she is standing there, uh, still ignorant. Still ignorant. I told somebody not too long ago that I've been in church all my life from a child all the way to now and I want you to know it was not until I turned 30 something that I really discovered who God was been in church speaking in tongues shouting and dancing and lifting my hands saying God you're able lifting my voice and shouting unto God but I really didn't know who God was I didn't know that he was a God of love that he was a God of understanding I really wasn't sure that he would deliver me from all of my unrighteousness I carried with me like this woman did for a long time how is it that you forgive me for everything that I've ever done how is it that I received this great love and this grace of mercy how is it God that as I did what I wanted to do all of my life came in the church and faked it the whole time If you only knew. And so this woman, she comes to this well and she experiences the Christ. I can imagine her saying, how is it that you're calling me from an obscure place? Oh, I feel God. How is it that you're calling me from a really dark place? A place where I was all by myself. Where nobody understood what I was going through. Nobody is able to understand 
what this woman has gone through. There's a reason why she went through five husbands. There's a reason why she's with the one she was with then. Because she had some needs. And see, many times we allowed our needs to get in the way of what God has in store for us. I know, I don't know about you, but I know I made some dumb mistakes looking for love in all the wrong places. Asking God to do this and when he didn't move according to my time, then I went and did what I wanted to do. And the thing about it is I try to reason with God and say, God, you know my heart. You know I've been in church all my life. You know who my mama is. You know who my daddy is. You know I sing in the choir. You know I direct the choir. I expected God to have mercy on me. But God says, you got to dig, girl. Dig deeper. You got to want this thing. This woman at the well, she had to want this thing. You got to have a desire in your heart to serve the Lord. You got to have a desire on the inside to serve the Lord. So, so, so listen to this. She, I could imagine, I could just imagine she's saying, no, my sins are like scarlet. And you say you're going to make me white as snow. My God, it is by the grace of God. So if you only knew who, if you only knew who she had, oh, I did. She's sitting here having a conversation with the Lord. I told the Lord not too long ago, I said, when you speak to me, I want to know it's you. I don't have time to be figuring out, is this you, Lord? Show me a sign. Show. Make the bell ring twice if this is you. Make the pages flip over. Let me know that this is you. And so this woman had no idea that she was talking to the Christ. She was talking to the Messiah. The anointed one. If you only knew who is asking. That's what he said to her. If you only knew who is asking of you a drink. If you knew you'd be asking me for a drink. She had no idea. Tell her, tell your neighbor she missed it. She missed it. If she only knew that the word of God says blessed are they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be filled. If she only only knew that this was the Christ. He's the one who came to deliver her. You don't have to worry about your needs being met because if you're in the midst of the Christ, the Messiah and the Holy One, the Anointed One, he said in his word, I will supply all of your needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. If you only knew who I am, I am the bread of life. If you hunger, I'll fill you up. If you thirst, I'll fill you up. If you only knew, if you only knew who I am, I am your shield. I am your buckler. I am the lifter of your head. Stop crying. Dry your tears. You are in the midst of a Christ, the Savior. I want you to know today, women, you got to stand strong. Stand in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free. Don't be entangled with the yoke of bondage. It's designed to keep you bound. It's designed to keep you where you are. It's designed to keep you wrapped up, tied up, tangled up. And it's designed to send you straight to hell. If you only knew how, how, if you only knew the real truth of the matter, how is it that I get this living water? How is it that I get eternal life? How is it that I get salvation? How is it? See, see, they had a discussion. See, she's still showing ignorance. She decided to get all religious. 
church. We said, well, you know, our fathers, you know, they worshiped in Jerusalem, and now all y'all saying, 